1987, Paul Van Hoot came to uh, England to help set up the Serotonin Club. Uh, he decided that rather like the Catacolamine Club and the Histamine Club, we, we, there should be a club uh, of people interested in serotonin, which is really rather late when one thinks about it. And uh, we met, I think, in the lecture theatre, anyone was interested, of the School of Pharmacy. And uh, he, he gave a talk about what he wanted to do and how he wanted to set it up. And then, uh, I have to say, as far as I was concerned, totally out of the blue, he said, well, Richard, Richard Grigg could be the, uh, one of the uh, British officers. So, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I, I then moved on to being vice president and president. Uh, wasn't sure because I was right in the middle of my activities with Astra in those days, so I'm not sure that I, I, I was as active as I ought to have been as president. So when the job as uh, treasurer secretary came up, I, I said, yes, I'd do that. And I, I did that then for about uh, 10 or 12 years, I think, uh, which was very enjoyable because uh, I, I had to write a newsletter and help him get involved in organising meetings. We always ran a meeting at Christmas time uh, as, part, uh, as a sort of offshoot of the British Pharmacological Society meeting uh, because a lot of people, from Pat Humphrey to Danny Hoyer, uh, there was a very strong serotonin research in the UK and Europe. Uh, Paul, uh, John Fozard is another that should be mentioned. And uh, so we always had a, a lecture and a dinner uh, on one of the quieter evenings of the BPS meetings. So enormous fun. Uh, recently, uh, I, well I asked actually when I was uh, secretary whether we ought to change the, the name uh, because Serotonin Club sounded a bit informal when we were trying to get money to help support the meetings and everyone, uh, including Paul Van Hoot, I uh, said no, they liked the name. A few years ago, either started or certainly supported by, by Paul, uh, a move was made to change and the society is now called the International Society for Serotonin Research, ISSR. I -S -S uh, there was a small movement to suggest it should be called the Society for Serotonin Research in International, SSRI, a clever play on words of the uh, serotonin selective antidepressant drugs, but I, I think that was a step too far.